An historic covered bridge in Linden was heavily damaged today after a box truck nearly a foot taller than the bridge's allowable clearance plowed through, smashed it to pieces, and kept on going. It's pretty incredible to see because, like myself, I have driven over that bridge right. dozens of times. You need to see this video yourself as well. Local 44's Devin Bates has more from Linden. Security video from a nearby home shows the moment a delivery truck tears through Miller's Run Bridge in Linden, leaving behind extensive damage that forced officials to close it. A town select board member who arrived minutes after it happened described the scene. When I pulled up, there was one car um, that wasn't able to make it across the bridge because of all the boards and nails that were laying on the bridge already. Both drivers got out and we were just got the boards out of the way so cars could go through. People in the community say they're unfortunately used to tractor trailer drivers trying to drive under this bridge, but this, they say, was a different case entirely. This is the worst, obviously the worst incident in, in quite a while. Usually they just knock some boards off the front here, um, but this took out just about every one of the supporting beams overhead. The driver worked for Upper Valley Produce based out of White River Junction, and earlier this afternoon, the company released a statement on its Facebook page saying it fired that driver. The incident is being evaluated. Others who use the bridge for their daily commute have previously expressed concern to town officials. I've seen RVs come through just barely being able to make it through. There are no stop signs. There is a sign saying that trucks need to turn around, but it's not in view, it's up that way further. A structural engineer visited the bridge Thursday afternoon and said it's safe for pedestrian travel, but it'll remain closed to traffic for the foreseeable future. There's gonna be an engineering team here tomorrow to uh, assess the damage and try to give us a cost estimate. And the town will uh, try to recover all of the cost of the repair mm -hmm. from the company that uh, damaged the bridge. Devin Bates reporting. Now, according to the Caledonian Record, Lindenville Police investigating the incident. A nearby resident also told us they were able to find the driver because someone followed the truck all the way to St. Johnsbury, where it was delivering produce. A and I know, Glenn, you were shocked to see the video yeah. as well, but exactly. He did not stop the driver. He appears to keep right on going, on going all the way to St. J. Yeah, and it sounds like they made some better signage a little bit closer to that bridge so that things like this don't happen in the well, future. Well, I mean, if you know it, you know it. You know I, I, it. I guess he didn't know it or Just didn't care. Didn't care.